Hi everybody, it's Tina. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Sunshine Show. Um, in I don't know, have I got all oh, my cheeks look a bit red? What have I been doing? I just put a little bit of makeup on before I came on camera. I've gone a bit too crazy with it, I think. Anyway, um, today is another Sunday Sunshine Show uh, in collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives. Um, we come on every Sunday morning at 7.30 and there's Maria from Maria Crocker, Karen from Geordie Grandma and Marie from Busy Bee Marie. <laughs> I'll link all their channels in the description box. So um, we all do the same theme of a video, but we all put our own aspect of, on it. Um, and this week's theme is cleaning, like spring cleaning. Um, well, I hate cleaning. <laughs> so, but uh, what I thought I'd do, I'm not going to clean um, because I'm too busy to do any cleaning at the moment. But I'm going to show you my favourite cleaning products, which would, I thought would be quite interesting and tell you how I use them. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, an easy one to start off with. Um, I have actually opened these, but I love these. Dr. Beckman Magic Leafs Laundry Detergent. They do them in a bio, um, a, bi uh, a biological one, which this is, and they also do a sensitive one, which I also have. And it's these sheets. Now, they smell lovely. Uh, what you do is you just pop one sheet in with your wash. It dissolves and cleans your wash. Very, I'm very pleased with them. I've used them for a while. I struggle sometimes to find them. I, these I got from Morrison's. When I see them, I usually get three or four packets. Um, I think a packet, there's 25 washers in there, and I think it's round about £3.50 or something like that. I don't think it's bad. Um, and it, there's directions to use them on the back, but I really like them. You've got no powder mess. Um, no things sticking to your clothes because i always find those pods sometimes they don't dissolve properly and stick to your clothes and it doesn't take up much room you know not like a great big powder thing so that's my first one now what have i got in here oh we'll stick with the laundry for start off with now these are tumble dryer sheets now i love these um i i do put them in the tumble dryer if i use a tumble dryer i try not to use it as much as i can but i love these all around the house um i put them inside my cushion covers and it makes your cushions smell nice um they're good for you know rubbing on your table if you get a mark on your table if you rub them on your table they're all and what happens if you rub them on things um I don't know if it releases a static. I think it must do because they don't get dusty as easy. Also, talking about static, if you've got static on your clothes, if you just rub uh, one of these tumble dryer sheets on your clothes, uh, it, removes the, um, it removes the static. And I have read, uh, but I've never done it, that you can clean your windows with them. Now, I've never done that. But um, I, do, I am pleased with them. I do like them. So, um, you know, they smell lovely. <laughs> Spring awakening they are. Right, what else have I got in here? Might be a long video, this. Right, these. I love these. These are the big floor wipes. Uh, I get these from Aldi. They used to be 69p, but I think they've gone up to about 89 now. Um, and they do them in two fragrances, the normal one and the apple one and they are biodegradable which is a good thing now whilst i do use them for floor wipes i use them for absolutely everything clean round the toilet with them clean the bathroom with them um i wipe down not with the same ones but i wipe down the kitchen units with them i think they're really really good um i always have these in often when i'm at aldi i'll pop two packets in the um in the basket there's 15 extra large wipes and they are large um so that's another tip that i would use power force antibacterial floor wipes non-bleach betsy's scratching at the window <laughs> i have to go and let her in i won't be a minute i don't know if it's not a phone call in the middle of my videos it's my dog <laughs> betsy right now i'm going to use these two together and show you these I absolutely love this barkeeper's friend it's a multi-surface cleaner and i think it's been around 
I think it's been around for over 100 years. Oh, wait a minute. It says on here since 1882. Well over 100 years. Getting on for 150. Anyway, um, it cleans, restores and polishes. It's brilliant. Um, and any, you can use it on anything. Uh, it's a powder. And sometimes I make a paste with it. It's a white powder here. Um, I sometimes make a paste with it. And um, it's brilliant for doing brass. Um, you can do all sorts, your, your worktop units. It says on here, I have to get the glasses on. It says it cleans ceramic, stainless steel, copper, chrome, china, porcelain, plastic, glass, brass, tiles and laminates. And it says once tried, always used. I do think that you will like it. Um, it's really good and it's good for getting stains out of things. You won't believe it if you use it on your brass. Uh, you know, I use it on the brass around the fire. Uh, and they also do it now in a spray. Um, this says tough on grease and grime. I haven't used a spray as much as a powder, um, but I do like it's good on stainless steel. Betsy's found a treat and she's munching on it now. It's good on stainless steel as well. So I love Barkeeper's Friend. I think you can get it worldwide. I think it was actually created in America. I did read that... Um, now, I don't know whether this is true, but I did read somewhere that they noticed that if you had a pan and it was marked or something, if you boiled rhubarb in it, it got the stains out of the pan and they came up shining. So whatever is in rhubarb, they've put in that barkeeper's friend. So um, that's something that's um, useful to know. <laughs> a bit of knowledge that you probably didn't want to know. Right, the other thing that I use now and again, not often, is rubbing alcohol. I get this from Amazon and it's you can um, you can use it like a disinfectant. You can let it down with water and spray, you know, areas that you want. You can spray it over your, well, probably wipe it over your computer keyboards and things like that to disinfect it. It's good for getting like sticky labels off. There's all sorts of different uses for it, um, a lot of which I can't think of this moment in time, but there is. Uh, so that's something that's really good, rubbing alcohol. And that's good for stainless steel as well. I don't even know what I've got in here. Microfiber cloths. Now, we all love a microfiber cloth. I feel like I'm on the generation game. We all love a microfiber cloth. They are good, aren't they? The only thing I don't like about them is, you know, if you use them wet, they're a bit squelchy, aren't they? But I do like them. They're good for polishing and, and things like that. And cheap as well. And then I like these cloths. These are like a microfiber dish cloth. I just picked these up in Home Bargains the other day. They're much better when wet than the other ones. I'm getting through these pretty quickly, aren't I? Right. Oh, one of the things that I absolutely love, bicarbonate of soda. Uh, you can clean a multitude of things with this. You can, you can put it in your washer to get stains out of your washing. You can clean your dishwasher with it, you know, sprinkle it in your dishwasher, clean it. Fabulous for getting rid of smells with, you know, mix it with water and clean out your fridge with it. Uh, if you've got a smelly vacuum flask or something like that, you just pop some of this in with some water and leave it it freshens it all up you know there's all sorts of um, things that you can do with it and you can also mix it with lemon if you want or the trusty white vinegar <laughs> that's another thing that i really like white vinegar and white vinegar and bicarb together are really good so um this is the same thing it's like for your surfaces a lot of them like you don't need all these products you probably only need one or two of them because a lot of them do the same thing now bicarb i'll tell you a couple of things that i've done with my carb um a few years ago i had a carpet cleaner and i washed the carpet in my bedroom with it well what i must have done is saturated it in my wisdom that i didn't know what i was doing i must have saturated the carpet and all the water got through to the underfelt which was the old-fashioned wool old underfelt well, I'm not joking, the smell, it was a horrible smell. It was like sour milk and I could not get rid of this smell. So much so that I was thinking I was going to have to have the carpet taken. I tried all sorts, put all sorts on it. 
I thought I was going to have to have the carpet taken up and um, get a new carpet because I couldn't sleep in the bedroom with the smell. Anyway, I read online that if you sprinkle bicarb all over it, which I did do, and left it overnight and then hoover it up, the smell goes and it did. It was brilliant for doing that. And then another thing I did was I gave someone a bed, um, you know, I gave a, a lady a bed that we had. And when I stri th there was a few stains on the mattress and I thought, oh, I can't give somebody um, a bed with a stain on the mattress. And I tried all sorts to get it out. Anyway, what I did was I mixed a paste of bicarb and the white vinegar and left it overnight. And, you know, it looked like brand new in the morning. By the time I hoovered it all off, it looked like brand new. It was brilliant. So I would recommend that. I don't think I'm going to get to the... Oh, I've only got two more. Well, this is just... I don't know why I've put this in. It's just a new fabric conditioner I've got from Aldi. But I just thought... Um, I'll just tell you about it while I've got it open. It smells divine. It smells of strawberries. It is strawberry and magnolia. Um, but it smells absolutely beautiful and quite reasonable. So I just thought I'd show you that while I'm here. And then finally, this is the Astonish bathroom cleaner. Now I have to say, I love all the Astonish products. And this is really nice. And you know, it's only about a pound for this. Uh, and it's quite a big, how much has it got in? It must have about 500 mils in. And, oh, 750 mils, that's even better. And this is white jasmine and basil, it's lovely. As I say, it's only round about a pound, one pound twenty-five from Home Bargains, but I do like it. I like a lot of the Astonish products. So, my friends, that is the end of my cleaning video. And I did it all without doing any cleaning. Isn't that wonderful? I've just got to put them all away in the cupboard now. But those are the things that I do like to use. So, um, I just uh, actually, this video is probably long enough, really. So... Um, if you've enjoyed this, which who enjoys videos about cleaning people do, I don't know why. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this, pop along to the other Housewives channels. That's Busy Bee Marie, Geordie Grandma and Maria Crocker and see what they're, they're, they're probably doing some cleaning. So you might enjoy that better. OK, bye bye. I've got quite a few videos coming up, so I've got to crack on with them. OK, bye bye.